if you've heard my de definition of leadership, which is all about leadership is about creating the environment in which everyone can succeed, self-leadership is about creating the environment around you in which you can succeed. And remember, there are two parts to environment. There's the mindset part of environment and there's the actual physical part of the environment, the nuts and bolts and the systems and processes. And both of those, <coughs> excuse me, both of those have to support you achieving what you want to achieve. So leadership is not about dictating, it's about creating this environment that supports you in becoming the best you. And it's your belief systems, it's your self-esteem, and it's the stimuli that you want to work with that are gonna determine your behavior and your leadership environment, and you've heard me call it nice, nurturing, inspiring, challenging, empowering, has to nurture your belief, it has to inspire your actions so that your self-esteem improves, and it has to challenge you to take on those stimuli and empower you to be better at them every day. And the reason that big leaps fail in leadership, or big leaps fail in anything, you know, if you're starting off in something and you want to get to, the, to be the best, and you think, oh, I'm gonna take a big leap, and I'm gonna do something really big and really hard work to get there, you may make some progress towards it, or you may feel like you've arrived, but actually once you get there, guess what? It fails. And it fails for one very simple reason. The environment that you have around you today, your environment that you live in today, is actually supporting the you you are today. Just think about that a minute. The environment around you today, everything that you surround yourself with, your mindset and your physical environment, supports you being the you that you are today. And your environment is going to protect the you that you are today. So if you suddenly change the you you are, your environment is going to say, oh, no, 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 come back in the middle. This is what you should be like. <clears throat> so your environment is actually going to be working against the change that you try to make. Because big change shows up like a threat. A threat to the environment is not good, so what does the environment do? It suppresses it. And how does that work? Well, we have the part of our brain, if you like, the old part of our brain, um, Seth Godin calls it the lizard brain, that part of the brain reacts in a prehistoric way. It was the bit that gave us the ability to um, keep ourselves safe, reproduce and eat. That's all it was interested in. And so if it's frightened of something, it says run away. If it feels unsafe, it says protect itself. If it needs to get nurture, it will go out and grab whatever it needs to get it. And that's all it does. It doesn't think about the creative stuff that we have in our prefrontal cortex, which is all our imagination, our dreams, our visions and all those things, which we need to be a leadership, to be a leader. So our lizard brain in some ways is working against that, unless, we reprogram the lizard brain to realize that our environment is actually here to produce a particular outcome. So you have to keep a focus on what it is you're trying to achieve. I've talked about your big, hairy, audacious, or asked goal. Your BHAG is the thing you're doing it for. And then once you've got that clear in your mind, you can take baby steps and go slowly as you can to get the job done. There's another phrase I love to say a lot of time, go as slowly as you can to get the job done. That sometimes may mean running really fast, but other times it will mean just being cautious and taking steps. I heard a lovely um, phrase the other day, which was, uh, sort of hadn't heard it before, that courage without caution is stupidity. Caution without courage is cowardice. Now, that's quite a really interesting thing to think about. You know, we need a balance of courage and caution. Because if you have the two together, working side by side, there are times when the courage is going to push you through the pain barriers and push you through the challenges, but the caution is going to make sure, as my mother would say to me, you use your eyes to watch every step so that you don't fall over.